And this is called Where Are You Really From? It goes like this. The man's words to me are not offered but flung. So what are you? Where are you from? I say, a New York. But your name is Carlos. I mean, where are you really from? I say, uh, New York. Bueno, yo soy Latino. Mi padre es colombiano. Mi madre es estadounidense. Nací en New York City. I lived in four countries, moved 12 times, went to 12 schools before I graduated high school. Is not what I would say in 12,341 years because I don't know a darn thing to anyone. What am I? What am I? A financial aid form? A vegan red velvet cupcake recipe? Dude discovers his first Latino with green eyes and suddenly appoints himself the authority on Latinidad. Like, but you totally don't look Mexican. Oh, Colombian, like what percentage are you? Do you speak it though? Fluently, dance south so well? Oh, but not both parents. You've been there, but not lived there, so you weren't born there. Yeah, 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 I'm not a government questionnaire. I'm not an anecdote for your homogenous social gathering, your homogenous friends. I know everyone you hang out with looks like you, has a name you are able to pronounce and or share and or sounds pulled directly from an episode of Leave it to Beaver. Here's the deal. Latin America is not just Mexico. Actually pronounced Mexico, pero whatever. Central America is not part of South America, and Mexican is still not a language. The question, where are you from in our current America, is a slur disguised with a question mark. A passive-aggressive microaggression saying you are other. Saying you are not from here. Saying you are not, nor will ever be, one of us. Saying go back to where you came from. But I, I am from a place beyond place. A place where once you're from there, you can never leave. Because it exists beyond dirt and flesh, beyond your linear and limited concept of time. I am from bloodlines unkillable as water. I am the return that is only earned when absence has stretched its greedy void across a passage as stoic and sacred as Nabuela's hard-edged love. I am my black and Latina daughter's grace. Chimered into the cobalt pulse of these once too often fists, I am a boy. Without a word of English in his mouth, in a Catholic school classroom in South Florida, his son on a stage in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, at the Emirates Airlines Festival of Literature, 59 years later tonight, reading this poem for him. I am the steady ray of light, unlocking my mother's teeth, tossed skyward with a laugh. What hard earned joy looks like carved from the wreckage of a lifetime's worth of grief. You are not ready for the answers to the questions you ask. Not ready for the world these words might shake free. You could never understand what I am or where I, where so many of us are from. So I opened my performances at the festival with a freestyle at Desert Stanzas on Tuesday night, and I feel like it's only right for me to close with a freestyle poem, first time, last time, never have it happen again, hope it's not a complete catastrophe, but if it is, I'm sure y'all will hopefully love me anyway, or at least be nice to me. Cool, you want to do that? Okay, let's go, cool. You who put your hand up, what's the first word of this poem? Me, okay, me is the first word, thank you, cool. Uh, Last word of this poem, uh, right, right there, yes, you in, in, in the white hijab, uh, yeah, yeah, what's the last word of the poem? Love, Love. oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect. At the table back there, um, you on the left, the left hand side, uh, what's the title of this poem? What's that? Beautiful, oh my gosh, and then someone in like these first two rows, someone enthusiastic, oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. What do you want this to be about? Say Esma. Oh my gosh. It to be about Esma. Oh my gosh. Okay. To be about Esma. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Beautiful. So this is about Esma, Arabic name for a woman. Okay. The title of this poem is beautiful or I've already forgotten that. The title is beautiful, the first word is me, the last word is love. I wonder where this is going. Okay, cool. Uh, 
So clap for me like I'm getting up, and then I'm going to do this, and we're going to close it out, and then we'll bring up some more poets. Thank you. This is a brand new poem I just wrote. It's called Beautiful. <laughs> me and you. I don't know you in the physical form. I don't know you as a human being. In front of me, you are a place. But I imagine you as a woman, a woman with music that is so beautiful the way it slips off my tongue. I know five words in Arabic tops. But when I see you, in this city that has taken my heart, in this city that does not want to let me leave, in this city that I do not want to let me go, I just hear the wind come in and say, Esma, <laughs> say stay here. I picture a woman. I picture a woman who I love without needing to know her in the physical form because she is a place, but she holds me, she carries me, she walks alongside me. She is somebody who tells me, you were meant to stay here. Please don't go. Please come back. And when I think of the things that are vibrant, I think of all the people, I think of all the nations, I think of all the languages that sing so quietly in a place like here. And it is not the place that I know. It is not the place with the fractured pieces under every step that I take. It is a place that is saying, please, do not go. There is something beautiful. Even when we don't talk, even when we don't need to see it, it is something that you feel deep, deep inside of your gut. And it makes you want to weep and just say one word, love. <laughs>